Hello children, let me move on to unit 1, food. Food is one of the basic need of our life. We cannot able to live without food. Children, can anyone tell me why do we need food? We need food for proper functioning of our body. We get nutrients like carbohydrate, proteins and fat from the food we eat. If we want to lead a healthy life, we have to eat all these nutrients containing food in the right proportion. Otherwise, we will get sick. We have to preserve the food we eat. If we do not preserve the food properly, it gets spoiled. We get diseases through the spoiled food. Let us discuss about the spoilage of food and the preservation of food in further. First we will see about spoilage of food. Some food items like milk, meat, fruits, vegetables will not be fresh for a long time. They get spoiled easily. It is known as perishable foods. We see changes in the normal state of food is called spoilage of food. It becomes unsuitable to eat and it will cause diseases. Causes of food spoilage. Food items begin to decompose when they are harvested. There are some factors that cause food spoilage. First one, air and oxygen. When oxygen reacts with food content, it produces changes in color and flavor of the food. Next, moisture. Moisture keeps the food fresh. When the moisture is gone, vegetables and fruits shrink. Due to evaporation, moisture loss occurs in food like meat, fish and cheese. Third, enzymes. Enzymes breaks down the tissues and components of the food in different ways like oxidation, browning and ripening. So the food items decay. Fourth, microorganisms. Microorganisms such as fungus, yeast and bacteria can grow well in low temperature. They multiply in food and spoil them. Next, light. Light produces color changes and vitamin loss. Next, temperature. Sometimes rise in temperature cause food spoilage. Effects of food spoilage. Spoiled food are not suitable to eat. What happened to the bread if we kept it for a long time? The color of bread will become green because fungus will be formed on them. It will be harmful to consume. Because of microorganisms present in spoiled food, we get foodborne diseases like stomach pain, fever, dysentery, vomiting and indigestion. Preservation of food. The process of keeping the food materials for a long time is called food preservation. The food will get spoiled if it is not preserved. Let me discuss about the methods of food preservation and its purpose. Food preservation methods. We are using different methods to preserve the food. They are drying, addition of salt, addition of sugar, freezing, boiling, canning and bottling, addition of chemical preservatives. Drying. In this method, we will dry the food in the sunlight. It removes water content in the food. Example, grains, dry fish and red chilies. Addition of salt. In this method, we will add more salt to the food. The addition of salt removes the water content in the food. Example, pickles and fish. Addition of sugar. If we add sugar to the food, it dissolves the water content and preserves the food from spoilage for a long time. Example, fruit juices, jam and etc. Freezing. In this method, we will keep the food items in the refrigerator. It will prevent the growth of microorganisms 
and the enzyme activity of the food items. Example, fruits, vegetables, etc. Boiling. There will be some microorganisms present in the food. If we boil, it kill the microorganisms. Example, water and milk. Canning and bottling. In this method, we will pack the food in airtight containers or cans so that germs will not grow in them. Example, milk powder. Addition of chemical preservatives. Nowadays, chemical preservatives are added to the food items so that it can stop the growth of microorganisms in the food. Example, vinegar is added in pickles. Purpose of food preservation. Many people suffer in the world without food so that the food should not be wasted by any reason. Preservation of food is important for the following reasons. To retain the color, taste and nutritive value of the food. To make food available throughout the year. To prevent the growth of microorganisms like bacteria and fungi in the food items. To reduce the wastage of food materials. Children, I hope you all have understood the topic spoilage of food and preservation methods. Thank you.